The U.S. House of Representatives today passed the $1.7 trillion federal spending bill, sending it to President Biden to sign into law. It passed mostly along party lines ahead of the midnight government shutdown deadline. Could stimulus checks really be on the way? Could there be a number that people are looking at that would determine whether or not people would be receiving them? All of that information is right here in this video as well as some shocking news that is on the way. Hey, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to another show. I'm your host, John Muro, here with True Life Investing. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for tuning in to this channel. We do a ton of giveaways right here. We keep you updated on stimulus check news news, things that are happening right here in our own backyard, and get this, we tell you the truth and nothing but the truth, and if that sounds like your kind of channel, like you want to become part of this family, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that a like button. So many things going on, like the blizzard, the guy that broke into Nancy Pelosi's house, he's literally not pleading guilty. Yeah, that's crazy in itself. New York had one of the worst blizzards that it's ever had. The death toll is up to 31 people. 17 were found outside. Our hearts are going with them and their families. I know that's not easy as they're trying to get things cleaned up. China had a 200 car pile up. Yeah, that wasn't fun. And yet again, there's so much COVID going around. What is a person to do? That's why we got to stay sanitized. We got to keep our distance and we got to wear a mask if we've got one laying around. And again, I don't like wearing these things, but yet again, if it's going to keep me safe, then why not? Why not go the extra mile to make sure you're a little more safe? Only because I love you guys and I care about you and I really do appreciate every time you participate in our movie giveaway and just anything that we do right here on this channel. Now, moving on to the information that's on the screen, have you noticed that gas prices have went dramatically low but they've kind of started creeping back up. 2023 gas prices will average 50 cents lower per gallon than 2022 but expect to pay this at the pump come May. Now we know that gas prices have been extremely low, lower than they've been in a long time. Kind of what it feels like. And let me increase this size. Gasoline prices in 2023 likely won't repeat 2022. Well, that's a good thing. While swings that accumulated an average pump price topping $5 a gallon for the first time ever, but prices will creep back up above $4 as the typical driving season kicks off in May. That's the prediction of the retail gas app Gas Buddy. Analysts for the National Price Tracking Service on Tuesday issued a recap of 22's vitality stirred by the economic recovery from COVID-19's worst days and the global market distributions from Russia's attack on Ukraine. What they're saying is that 2023 is not going to be a cakewalk for motorists. It could be expensive. The national average could breach $4 per gallon as early as May. And I don't know about you, but I'm done with paying a lot of money for just filling up my gas tank. I'm tired of paying so much money so I can get to work to provide for my family so we can attend our local church. And gas prices, there's no reason why these gas prices should be so high. If Joe Biden was able to make some moves and get them lowered and make them affordable, then why would he allow them to go back up when they don't have to? So again, I hope that they figure something out because I don't know about you, but I'm not ready for high gas prices. So stimulus update, the one number that might indicate if a stimulus check is on the way. And again, so many people are looking for some sort of financial relief. And if that's you, then smash that like button. Yet again, I know that several people are dealing with some financial hardships Inflation has not been easy on anyone. Thank God that these gas prices have went down, but what does that mean for the food items in the grocery store that hasn't went down? So what number are they talking about? Well, the federal government did not issue any stimulus aid in 2022. It's typically been left up to these individual states that we talk about every single day that are literally sending out stimulus checks. But that could change in 2023, but only if circumstances warrant it. Now, I know that we don't want things to get even worse, so that way we get stimulus checks. 
But before things do get worse, why don't they go ahead and help people out now? Because I can promise you that many would agree, millions would agree, that those on a fixed income, SSI, SSDI, VA survivors, even those on a low income would agree that right now we should help them financially. Now, many people probably don't need a check, but I can promise you that millions really do. So the U.S. consumers have pretty much spent all of 2022 grappling with rampant inflation. And over the past 12 months, many people have literally depleted their savings accounts and racked up scores of credit card debt to cope with the higher living costs. So it's not just you. It's not those on a fixed income. This is literally hurting a lot of people. I mean, tons of people, no matter what class you're in. And for those that live paycheck to paycheck, it's even worse because now with higher credit card debt, your your score goes down. I mean, it's just in a domino effect. What's made the past year even more difficult is that inflation has surged. There's been no federal stimulus aid to fall back on. And I think that's where the biggest issue has come in is with everything kind of surging, prices going up, gas going up, food going up. Well, guess what? The federal government has not provided any stimulus aid, and this is something that everyone is looking for. Well, guess what? That could change in 2023, and it will hint largely on one key number. So what does that key number look like? What does the jobless rate look like? In March 2021, the unemployment rate was 6%. Of course, lawmakers approved around a stimulus aid via the American Rescue Plan. So what they're looking at is the unemployment rate. So when lawmakers made the decision to issue stimulus checks in March of 2021, the jobless rate was almost twice as high as it was right before the pandemic. But this year, unemployment has been low. In January 2022, unemployment set at 4%. In July, it reached 3.5, the same level as February of 2020. And right now, in November, they're literally at 3.7. Now, here's where the key factor really plays. Now, unemployment situation could change in 2023, especially if a recession strikes. So now that we know that it's possible for the U.S. to jump into a recession, meaning unemployment rises, then that's where a stimulus check from the federal government, not your individual state, but the federal government would step in and say, it's time for us to provide some financial aid to these unemployed. So again, there's so many people that are looking for this check, but yet again, there's no reason to believe that the economic conditions will in fact worsen next year. And again, I hope they don't worsen. Listen, things are not the best now. I'm not saying it's the worst, but I just don't want it to get any worse just to get some checks. And I think while things are mildly good, I would say that they're decent. They're not probably the best. But right now is the time that they should send stimulus checks out so that way people can get some sort of financial relief. Now, the difference between the state sending them out and the, and the federal government sending them out is that everybody would have a better chance of receiving it, even those on a fixed income. But when it comes to individual states, it's more targeted to taxpayers. So again, I would love for our federal government to take care of our seniors, those on a fixed income, to get you guys taken care of because there's no reason why you should be suffering right now, especially not when we live in one of the richest countries ever. So again, I wanted to bring you that new which states would send out stimulus checks well they're right here on the screen several states listed here if you don't see your state it's because they haven't provided any stimulus check information but i promise you that we do our daily research to keep you updated on everything coming out when it hits the books we want to let you know exactly when things are coming out when checks are being sent whether direct deposit or where they're being mailed to your mailbox, and we are your advocate for that daily news. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. Thank you for your love and support. Your comments, you mean the world to me. So many of you have commented that you love this show, and I love that you love this show. It gives me the encouragement. It gives me the motivation to do these videos 
every single day. It's just part of it. It's my time with you, and I am so thankful that you are watching, and that's why I want to do a ton of giveaways. Our next giveaway is in January, but it's time to get in now. Again, be liked and subscribed, and let us know down in the comments below that you are the number one fan and that you support this channel. Also, if you want another chance to win, we do what we call a movie segment where we show you a clip of a movie, and you try to guess which movie that quote came from so here is that quote because we live or we die by the clock we never turn our back on it and we never ever allow ourselves the sin of losing track of time let's just say it's an odie but it's a goodie one of my favorite movies several of you have already guessed the right movie and your names entered in for a chance to win. Again, thank you so much for participating. I hope you're excited about the new year that is coming up. Can you believe that we're already going into 2023? I mean, whoever thought that we'd make it this far after all that we've been through, but every day is a blessing. Thank God above that you and I are still here today. It's a blessing just to see another day. I wanna thank you, be safe, be sanitized, stay warm. Make sure to keep watching because I've got some more videos on the way. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace.